Why there? What for? Life kick you in the ass. Had enough. Terrible beast prowls the sewers down that way. Best of all, all together. Devoured dozens of maidens, folks. Boot prints. Large. Man's most likely. Hmm. Thought only women came looking for the cursed prince. made by a blade. No monster did this. Thanks, Geralt. It's, uh... It, good to see you. You too. Lost track of you after I left Vizima. Where'd you go? What have you been doing? Um, long story short, I've been treating the sick and wounded, as always. Mainly at my clinic in Oxenfurt. But in Redania, I'm called on to help the army at times, as well. I'll want to hear the long story long, too. Sure. But, uh, once we're out of these sewers... Redinian army forced you to come here, too? Or are you just down here for a pleasant stroll? Got our orders this morning. I came down here with a whole unit, but... something attacked us. The soldier. He's someone important to you? His name was Nalls. Supposed to go on leave next week. Now he won't. Nor will the rest of his unit. How many were they? A whole squad. Six brave boys, all dead. What attacked you? Get a good look at it? No. I started running as soon as it appeared. It was huge. Spat venom and made these slurping sounds. That's all I know. Hmm. Doesn't sound like a major necrophage or a pack of drowners. No. This was one thing. Big. But one. Somebody threw a torch at it. Monster couldn't have cared less. All right. Not afraid of fire. Good to know. Why'd they send you down here? Only if it's not confidential, of course. I need a venom sample. From the beast that prowls these sewers. It doesn't just kill those who come down here, you know. The water in so many wells is contaminated. Folk are getting ill. Redanian soldiers among them. Plan to kill the beast. Bring you a sample of its venom after I do. Nice of you to offer. But I'd rather go with you. Collect the sample myself. Creature's dangerous. You saw what it can do. I'm a big girl, Geralt. I can take care of myself. And you know I'll get my way, so don't try and talk me out of anything. <sighs> Fine. Your choice. So show me where the monster attacked you. This way. Grating's badly bent. 
Something large struck it, with a lot of momentum. I shut it as I fled. The monster must have slammed into it. Glad it held up. Though now we need to find a way around it. Is it worth searching outside? Actually, just hoping the monster's blow weakened one of the walls. Careful. Monster might still be here. wounds made by a blade. No monster did this. Yes? Soldiers from your escort? Yes. That's them. Vern, Miklas. Oh, poor boys. Beast doesn't play around, apparently. They saved my life. Know them well? Him, I met this morning. But. Vern and I served together at the Battle of Dorian. Miklas only enlisted this Yule. Sorry. Once you kill this beast, we'll have to send someone down here to collect their bodies. Give them a proper burial. What exactly happened? We came in here and Miklas started looking for tracks. Then drowners attacked. The men made quick work of them. But Franz was injured. His leg. He and I stayed behind. I tried to bandage him up while Nalls stood watch. Then that beast appeared. Nalls pushed me towards the exit and ran at the monster. I turned around and saw him lying there, covered in a sticky substance. I ran back to get him, then dragged him to where you found us. Where was the monster? Well, Miklas and Vern had driven it away from us, and paid dearly for it. Managed to get a look at what attacked you? Everything happened so fast. I didn't get a good look, no. Only saw it from behind. I know it was large and slimy. Gotta look around. Man you patched up, is he here? Bronze? I don't see him. Think the monster might have dragged him off? Could have. Hmm. Beast probably crawled in or out through here. It's deep. The lower level of the sewers has been closed off for years. But Vern, the commander, had a skeleton key. See if I can't find it. Got the key. Good. Let's get going. Legend going around about this monster being a prince turned into a toad. A curse or something. I've heard. A lot of women have fallen for it. I find out who started that rumor, I'll strangle them. So, don't believe it? <laughs> I studied medicine, not literature. I stopped believing in fairy tales long ago. An 
another unfortunate romantic came to lift a prince's curse, found a hideous death instead. Come on, come closer. Hideous creatures. You all right? Mm, fine. Look, it's bronze. What's left of him, you mean? What kind of beast would do that? Mm, not flowers. Does that mean anything? Well means our monster doesn't attack them. Seems they get along with whatever's prowling the sewers. Some kind of symbiosis. Hmm. Interesting. What? Franz had a leg wound, right? Mm-hmm. Just above the knee. Managed to apply anything to it? Yes. Some spirit, but that was it. Why do you ask? Look. Half of Franz's leg is gone. Monster must have chewed it off. Other bodies were untouched, except for the wounds they sustained in battle. Are you suggesting the beast likes alcohol? Mm hmm. Mixed with blood. Doubt we'll learn anything else here. We need to find the lair. Right behind you. Hmm. Odd smell. Blend of alcohol, blood, and monster stench. Must have come through here. Another unfortunate romantic came to lift a prince's curse, found a hideous death instead. Shotty, watch out. Move! Lost your nerve? Soldier. Came down to hunt the beast alone, maybe. Fool. A woman. Must have come here hoping to find her prince. Shani, can you get your sample here? Sure. 
along with a bunch of dirt, rubble, and drowner droppings. I need a clean sample. From the lair, that'd be best. Johnny, watch out. Move! Johnny, watch out. Move! of slime here. Enough for your sample? It'd be more than enough if it wasn't contaminated. Another unfortunate romantic came to lift a prince's curse, found a hideous death instead. everywhere. Strange. Seems the monster tolerated them. As long as they don't get too close, I guess. The has gotta be nearby. Redanian soldier. Came down to hunt the beast alone, maybe. Fool. Slime everywhere, and that stench. This has to be the lair. Fresh and moist. Beast was just here. I'll collect my sample. Huh. All the tunnels and corridors converge here. What now? Need to lure the beast. How? We don't even know what kind of monster it is. But we do know it likes a blend of blood and liquor. Just so happens I've got some alcohol on me. Well, I hope you don't plan to cut yourself or... Relax. Plenty of bodies. I'll use one of them. Sample you collected enough? Hope so. But I'd still like to get some pure venom. Once you've killed the monster. To distill an antidote? No use for it once the beast's dead. Not true. I have a few poison patients on hand. Besides, I can study the venom, test it... Maybe discover some interesting properties. 
I'll get to work. Hmm. I doubt I'd be much help in the fight, but you might need me afterwards. I'll look for a hiding place. You'd be better off waiting for me up top, or back home. But... No buts. Wait in the passage for now if you have to, though I'd rather you didn't. But when the monster shows, you run for the surface. Ugh, fine. Shani, look at me. Promise you'll stay out of it. I promise. Good. Now go hide. Be careful, Geralt.
Gather us, I'll woo.
what's going on. Ah, he's finally come to. And he can speak human, turns out. Started thinking I'm not conversing common the whole way. Except maybe with me reflection in the piss bucket. Where... Where am I? On the Albatross. Or the Fak Barthoil, as their strange tongue has it. En route to a fear. Don't remember signing on as a sailor. <laughs> oh, you didn't, mate. They dragged you aboard. Seems you killed their prince. in the sewers. Damn it. Should consider myself lucky, I guess. Could have killed me on the spot. Depends how you look at it. I happen to know a bit of a theory. Heard them saying they come here on a mission, dispatched by their king to find their prince, lift his curse. Wager their honor, and that of their families five generations back, that they'd bring him home safe and sound. And I killed him. Great. So... Must think they can save their honor by bringing the prince's murderer back to face the king's justice. Listen, there was a young woman, a medic, red hair. They capture her too? Don't recall seeing anyone of the sort. You were alone. Good. Means she managed to flee. Hopefully made it home. We been at sea long? Uh, Dunno, Riley. Not that long. Though, on the other hand, but what's it matter, any road? Matters a lot. If they're hauling me off to hang me, I'm not in a hurry to arrive. Me? I'm glad to be sailing to a fear. I hear they got wild horses there. White, with black stripes. Always wanted to see one of them. Sure they're not black horses with white stripes? Nay, black horses with white stripes they got in Zangwebar. That I'm sure of. And who might you be? Felipe Calagrand, at your service. Petty thing, professional fence. And your guide about Oxenford. Want to have a bit of time? Mm -hmm. And why are you here? You kill a prince too? Well, to their thinking, I had a hand in this one's death. See, I was their guide. Led them down into the sewers. But not until after you'd cut their prince's gut up. Sorry about that. Not your fault, mate. When all said and done, I could have sat on my ass in the alchemy playing Gwent. Didn't have to brag about knowing Oxenford better than my own breeches. Tried to break out yet? Bah. Used every ounce of charm I got. Nothing doing. Might be Maya Fury's, Rusty. Maya Fury's non-existent. Well, we'll be at sea at least a month. I'll teach you something that time. El Carl! Orial! What's that mean? I told us to shut up. There's been a misunderstanding. Can I talk to your captain? Alakar Sorkan, Galavat Kar U Albata again. Quiet, dog. You killed our prince, and you'll pay for that. Gilea Balar, Karbarethaner. You'd be dead already. Revhagar, me Aram et Kar. Then this is not ours to read. Anna. Torgate ye Alami. We swore on our honor. How do I say? Take me to your captain. Falf Alakhe Ur Egulath. What? El Kal. Vyoth. Vyoth. Alke ul egulath. El kal. In kal avr ikel ugeherevn ul vitar. What just happened? What did he say? He said to sit quiet. And that you'll hang in two weeks. Great. Give it a rest. No point talking to that one. All you get is angry gurgles. And they puff up, you notice? While them fish. What's it they're called? There anyone here who speaks common? Ah, there's this mercenary with him. Looks a Danian to me. He's the one recruited me to show him through the sewers. Oh, and the mage, what leads them, knows a bit. Heard him talking. But I doubt either will talk to you. Uh, I was you. Catch some shut eye. Not go on flapping my tongue. Got a long voyage ahead. Sleep's not what I need. Someone I can actually communicate with. That's what I want. Greetings, Geralt. Remember me? 
Not really. Gauntero Dip, known also as Master Mirror. We bet in White Orchard. I helped you find your Yennefer. We meet again. And it seems you need my help again. Heard a noose awaits you. That is, if this slot doesn't kill you first. Long story, but it bore you. I'd prefer to focus on something more useful, like getting you off this ship. Because you do wish to disembark, do you not? Yeah, sure. But what on earth could you? Oh, more than you'd ever expect. I shall help you, Geralt. But before I do, I must know your return favor. Right. Can't possibly get something for nothing. Indeed. When all's said and done, I am a merchant. So, do you want my help? Yes. It's a deal. Once it's all over, we shall meet at midnight at the crossroads, neath the willows near the village of Yantra. Ah, and I must give you something to remember me by. What's that? A mark to show we're associates. Who are you gabbing with? With no one. Oh, never like boats. Not one bit. They heave like devils. Make me stomach churn. Ugh. It'd be primed to sleep through the whole thing. Didn't bargain for no storm, but bear that means a tidy jump in my feet. To a fear get us safe. The king's reward will be generous. What about the prisoner? Before the king we must bring him. On doing so, my honor relies. Can we just bring your king the bastard's head? Like we do with the other? The other drowned. We could do nothing. We deliver live this one. Apart from all else. The hell the king is sure to condemn him to. I wish to see. What kind of hell? Tarring, flaying, and watering. This is the punishment for regicide and nails.
Stefan, ich asse. Time to end this. Time to end this. Come on. 
Yeah, I just finished the uh, main story. This is the DLC, uh, Blood and Wine, I believe. Ich hasse. How long you gonna make me wait? Lost your nerve?
you're gonna make me wait. Blade back so I can fight monsters. Those dudes take me on that fucking boat. Hmm. Come on now. What's the problem? Oh, nothing. On your way now, good man. Shut it, got at. He could help. Little Red's band means to attack the village. Want revenge on Bertram. We haven't much, but we're willing to pay if you defend us. Who's Little Red? Word is she fornicates with wolves and can tear a man apart with her bare mitts. A she-beast in human husk. Some call her a great beauty. She leads a pack of deserters. 
two dregs from different armies. The kind what knows killing and plundering well. Why does this band want revenge on you of all people? Because... Because I ratted on them to the witch hunters. Witch hunters care about bandits? Since when? Little Red's band. They was terrorizing our village. We had none to defend us. Finally, Bertram went by the hunters, asked them. So the hunters went after him. We had a spell of peace, but now Little Red's learnt of it all. Wants to kill Bertram. He's done for if you don't help. Fine. I'll handle the bandits. Go to your homes, bar the doors. Beware of them, Witcher. They're the dangerous type, truly. White head like a miller's son. Did the villagers hire you? They did, to defend them from monsters, and humans who can be monsters. And you believe me to be such? Are you? Find out for yourself if you dare, or give me Bertram. No one else will get hurt. What did Bertram do to you to warrant vengeance? Uh, mean they didn't mention this bit? Then listen. He came to me a half year back. Said he'd point out who's worth looting in return for a share of the takings. But sometime on, the bugger grew greedy. He wanted more. I refused. That's when he set the witch hunters on us. Lost half me men because of him. Now step aside, Witcher. This ain't your affair. We want Bertram, no one else. Give my word. I won't get in your way. Do what you gotta. Right decision, Witcher. See? Quick and painless. That's for you. For understanding. Let's go, gents! I knew you'd come. You a soothsayer? It matters little who I am. Your escape, I made it possible. Previously, Yennefer, you found her thanks to me, so you feel you owe me. Memento you gave me. Pretty effective reminder. That is its purpose. Incidentally, 
I find it quite funny how even the most rotten scoundrels have this inner compunction to repay debts of gratitude. Humans, elves, dwarves, all races. You really must explain that to me one day. As for the here and now, tell me, how'd you manage with your theories? You appeared out of nowhere, disappeared just as mysteriously, summoned a storm. Let me guess, you're a mage. Oh, please, no. I cannot stand spells. Childish hocus pocus. It's just not interesting. What I find fascinating are true tales, true human lives, like the one I shall tell you now. It's about a man, worse than most. A vulgar, despicable man with a heart of stone. A man who refuses to pay his debts. Really think this'll interest me? Any reason why? He's wronged you as well. His name is Olgierd von Everick. How do you know we'd met, and that I'm not exactly thrilled with him now? Please, Geralt. I knew the Ophiri had captured you. Was I not to know how this had come to pass? Olgierd von Everick did willfully and maliciously conspire to cause you to kill a man who might have been cured. Had I not intervened, you would have lost your head for this. Do you know why he did it? Because he's a degenerate monster in human flesh who feeds on the pain and suffering of others. Well, you clearly don't like him. What did he do to you? He and I made a pact. A pact under which I called on my many talents and associates to give him what he desired. Now the time's come to pay, yet he shirks his obligation. Need me to collect a debt? I'm not some hired muscle. Muscle is not what this requires. It needs a soul intelligent and clever. An individual who fears no dare. Someone like you. Pure flattery, that. Of course it is. After all, I am a traveling merchant. But make no mistake. Many interesting wares on offer. Wares like? Surfeit. Abundance for the body and soul. You will lack neither food nor drink. As a witcher, you might desire weapons supreme. I can offer you those you dreamt of. Your body, agile as never before. Your mind, faster than lightning. Romantic prowess to charm all womankind. But above all, true adventure, an experience like no other, the fate of only the chosen few. Sure sounds generous, and all that for my help with one small matter. Won't want anything else from me? Just one. Honesty. What did you do for old Geard? Break him out of a cell too? In some sense, yes. I remember that day quite well. There was a light drizzle, yet the cold tore right through you. All gear had appeared at the break of dawn, gaunt as a rail, his shirt moth-eaten. Seemed to have naught but the sword at his side. It quite pained me to look at him. He asked for help, and help I gave. Made him a rich man, successful, esteemed, he is who he is today, thanks only to me. And yet afterwards, he turned his back, shunned me, sends me off when I dare ask for payment, even sicked his hounds on me once. He's thus left me no option but to invoke the terms of our pact. And that is where you come in. Huh. How much does he owe you? <laughs> Gentlemen, don't discuss court. Need to know the details if you want me to get my hands dirty. How much? A million crowns? Two million? I'm no usurer to lend coin for interest. No. What Olgierd owes me is far more personal than shiny things that clink. A 
As much as I regret it, I can say no more. I must respect his privacy. What about you? Call yourself a man of many talents? Can't you take care of this? Therein lies the catch. Our pact states that before I can collect my due, I must yet fulfill three wishes for Von Everick. But I cannot fulfill them myself directly, making use instead of a... Hmm, how shall I put it? A proxy. Mm-hmm. So what you need's a sucker. What I need is an ally. And something tells me I shall find none better than you. What do you expect me to do? To start with, join me in paying Von Everick a visit. Then, well, then we shall improvise. I believe, however, that all will end well. And, once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. Right. Specifics now. Thought Holgeard had three wishes, requests, whatever. Uh, he does. He may ask three things of us. Yet, we won't know what they are until we see him. <sighs> all seems a little shady. Your help? Your pact with Olgierd, his three requests. Think it over. I agree you've no a priori reason to trust me. But, as it happens, I was in the right place at the right time to help you. And it's also the case that the same man has wronged us both. To my mind, those are reasons to work together. To my mind, not so much. Come with me to see Olgierd. You shall see he's a vile, dishonorable man who treats the lives of all folk like playthings, as he treated yours when he sent you to find the Frog Prince. Fine. I'll go see Olgierd with you, but no promises. That is all I ask. Now remove the damn mark. Naturally. Just as soon as you complete your task. Go. You will not regret it. We shall meet there. I have a matter to attend to along the way. Another debt to collect? Perhaps. You've seen war, mate, and it shows. Well, look who's here. The Witcher with the fists of steel. What's new? Got a growth on your platter there. You catch some kind of a theory pox? Could say so. Manners burning, you noticed? That? All right. You know how it is. Feast drags home with plenty of dancing, merrymaking, rough play. <laughs> we got a bit carried away, truth be told. Plain to see. Where's all geared? Damned if I know. Must be somewhere hereabouts. No! Please! I beg you! Shut your trap! <laughs> Let me go! Leave me be! Shut it! I ain't with yous! Drank with yous! Fought beside yous! And you'd kill me now! I'm one of yous! You might have been. 
but not no more, you ain't. What's he guilty of? What the fuck's it to you? Not your concern, mate. Tell you what's gonna happen now. I'll ask again, polite like, and you'll answer just as politely. And if I don't? Then I'll get angry, stop talking, and slaughter you all like swine. So what'll it be? Am I gonna hear why you wanna take his head, or not? Aren't you a thorny prick up the ass? Ataman said to kill him! Got your answer, happy? Now piss off, we've work to do. No, you don't. Let him go. Oh, this is bloody rich. Can't plow and believe me ears. You switch your brains with your cock or something, get your mutant with your ass out of here. Or... Or I'll kill you! Go ahead. Try. Whoa, whoa. What the bloody hell's this? Geralt, have you decided to play defender of the downtrodden? More like gutter of sons of bitches. Long as I'm here, you'll gut no one. That a challenge? Why not? I've not fought a witcher before. Defeat me and I shall let him go. Stand aside. Would you wait, sir, for the dribble to subside? Makes no difference to me. Stunt fight. Such a fight, Men of better man. Come on.
closer.
Well struck, Witcher. You win. But perhaps you'd care to tell me why you meddled in a matter not yours. I wanted to prevent for the bloodshed. Well, well. The Witcher with the heart of gold. Unsavory as it seems, there is a silver line. At least you now know I don't easily lose my head. Release him. <laughs> Getting off cheap, no. mate. Really necessary, that whole show? Ah. So, come now. A man must display some madness from time to time. Helps him feel alive. Dare say you know what I mean. Judging by the mark on your face. You know what this is? I cannot be certain. But I've my suspicions. That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with, Witcher. You're immortal? Depends on your understanding of the term. Indeed. I cannot be killed. But it's not at all what folk imagine. Not dying does not mean eternally living your life to the full. So it's a curse? A curse? No, wouldn't call it that. I'll put it this way. You must be careful what you wish for, lest you wish be granted. For there are consequences. Not sure I follow. You know very little can hurt you. So you take wild risks. Chase extreme sensations. There comes a point you've done it all, and all seems boring and monotonous. The tricks to plough through that moment, go further, reach beyond what's known as possible. Killed the beast in the sewers. Congratulations are in order then. Your reward. You're also welcome to take what you wish from the manor house, if anything's left to chart, that is. Was it a tough fight? I sliced its gut open, and it turned into a man. You know that would happen? Of course he did. He'd never have dragged you into this elsewise. Gaunter or did. Come to cast aspersions? No. I've come to collect a debt. You know, you first must... Grant you three requests, by proxy. I present to you my champion, Geralt of Rivia. That true? You know the Toad was a cursed prince? He didn't just know. He brought about the curse himself. Did he not mention that bit? Well then, allow me to tell it. Quite the gripping story. All Geard once loved a beautiful maiden named Iris. Yet, her parents chose to offer her hand to the Crown Prince of Ophir. All Geard grew to hate the sought. At first, he wished to kill him, then decided this would be too simple. So, instead, he condemned the prince to a base life in a toad's bloated corpus. Yet he grew bored of watching him suffer, and decided to end it. By your hand. Remind me, Odin, who is to fulfill my last three requests? My assistant, Geralt. Then be gone. I don't wish to look at your face any longer than I must. Come. Where to? The stables. My men are preparing to depart. Could have told me the truth about the toad, having a bit of fun at my expense. I simply wanted the base dead. I could not know you would respond to the notice. Pure coincidence. Yeah, I must admit, when you, a witcher, answered the call, I thought it right. It's what you lot are trained to do. Might have been able to lift the curse. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Then again, why bother? 
He was a human being. That bloody Ethereum mutt was no human. His kind does not deserve to live. What he said about the prince, that true? You turn him into a toad? Perhaps. Or perhaps the Ethereum Dofa ate something that disagreed with him. You never know with their cuisine. Never heard of food that turns men into monsters. Then perhaps it was something he drank. Hmm. Ah, I cast the curse. Revenge for a deep disappointment. I was another man then. Let rage get the better of me and hollowed the words without ever thinking they could possibly come true. This thing between you and Master Mirror, your quarrel, may you rather not get involved. You already are, I fear. He did something for you. Now you've a debt to repay. Am I right? Yes. Well, then you'll not free yourself of him till you've paid it back. But never worry. I shall devise tasks so impossible you will never complete them. Not if you go mad trying. But try your best, and your debt shall be absolved. While I shall live in peace until Master Mirror finds another aide de camp. Guess I gotta pop the question directly. What do I need to do for you? Hmm. Let me think. We're currently without a roof over our heads. Perhaps we should start with that. Bring me the house of Maximilian Bossoni. His house? So surprised. But why? I must live somewhere, mustn't I? What's the meaning of this? Second leave of your senses. You mean to mount a filthy horse? Out of my sight, wretch! Know what Vladimir would do to you if he saw? Aye. Vladimir. My brother. There were times he himself stank like foot wrappings three days old. But his mount always looked fit for a parade. Oh, none rivaled Vladimir at feasting, carousing. Sadly, he's been celebrating less of late. You must find him. And show him the time of his life. My second request. Fine. Seems easy enough. And the third? Complete those two. Then we shall speak of the third. Any hints? Where I should go? How I might start? You must be mad. I've no intention to make things easier for you. Once I'm done with those two, where will I find you? I cannot know, as my band has planned some diversions. But let us say at the Alchemy Inn, in Oxenfurt. Fine. See you there. The brother shouldn't be too hard. But the house? How am I supposed to bring him a house? Actually, the opposite. I wouldn't worry about the house. The brother will be the tough bit. You waited for me. Nice of you. I could hardly abandon my proxy to the whims of fate. Thought I have to fulfill Olgierd's wishes myself. So states the contract. Yet, nowhere does it forbid me from providing help. And something tells me you'll need quite a bit to complete the first two tasks. Borsodi's house. No idea how I'm supposed to bring him that. Ooh. The only Bosodi I know of around here runs an auction house in Oxenfurt. Heard of it. My swords almost got auctioned off there once. Auction was held in Novigrad, though it was a while past. They must have relocated. You just might get an opportunity to ask them why. Fine, I'll go there. Then what? How should I know? Perhaps you'll get inspired once you're there. Oh, and take plenty of coin. I have a feeling it could come in handy. Olgierd's brother. Why do you think he'll be tough? I'm afraid he's dead. Has been for years. Uh, never agreed to necromancy. The necromancy is hardly your only option for reviving a soul. An old-fashioned ritual, a blood summoning. That's what you need. That's like choosing between pestilence and the plague. Besides, I need the blood of the summoned. Blood? True. Of the summoned? Not necessarily. Here. Where do you get this? Geralt, 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 aren't you the curious one? 
Assume it to be von Everett blood and get on with it. Hmm. Where'll I find this Vladimir? Geralt, I cannot do everything for you. Use your head. The von Evericks are well known in these parts. You must have met someone who's heard of the family. The charming redhead, for instance. The medic. You know the one. Uh, guess it's high time I got to work. A bit more enthusiasm, Witcher. You know, you just might enjoy yourself. Yay. Can't wait. Say I need help. Where'll I find you? I shall find you. Good luck, Geralt. <laughs>